What's up guys, today we got the Magic Yo-Yo N11 K2 combo available on Amazon.com for just over $20. You're going to want to see this. All right, here is the box. Very cool. So this is the N11 K2 combo pack. So we're going to open her up. And let's see how do we get her right here. And we get this awesome two yo-yo pouch. This is very protective. You could drop your yo-yos in here. You will not hurt your yo-yos. Um, it can take a lot of abuse. You can throw it in your backpack and the backseat of your car. Really, whatever. So we get the case. We get an awesome Magic Yo-Yo K2 crystal and a Magic Yo-Yo N11. This one out of the box is set up unresponsive. Well, here we have a responsive setup with the K2. We get a 12 pack of strings. We get extra weight rings that can be installed if you want to add a little extra weight to your N11. They just pop in the sides here. You can fit them right in there. And then it'll add, it'll add a little extra weight. There's a little groove here. It's kind of a, you got to kind of really take your time to get it in there. But there we go. That's better. You want them like that, actually. Just pull it out a little bit. Yeah, just like that. I prefer it without, but that's up to you. You want to add a little weight to it. And then we also get... An extra slim bearing if you want to make this one responsive play and an extra large bearing if you want to make this one unresponsive play so both these yo-yos can be used both responsive and unresponsive meaning responsive meaning that the yo-yo will come back to your hand um, with a tug unresponsive meaning it will require a bind and uh, if you're wondering how these work um, so the larger axle these longer axles will be for when you have the you know the wider one in, so we'll do a demonstration right here so you guys know how to use it uh, if you're new to this. So this is if you want the yo-yo to come back when you're just beginning, learning your basic beginner tricks, or you just want to do some looping tricks and stuff. Um, if you're going to change bearings, you want to take the small axle out with the Allen wrench. And then this is your bearing removal tool. You can pop your bearing out. And then from there, you can go ahead and put in your larger, um, your larger concave bearing as well as the longer axle and just screw the yo-yo back together. And it is really good to go. Um, we're gonna do a demonstration with this one, responsive, show you some responsive tricks that you can do. Um, and then we'll do unresponsive tricks. So let me set these up for responsive play off camera and uh, let's get back and to the review and we'll do a little playability. All right, both these yo-yos can be set up both unresponsive and responsive. So let me give you a quick demonstration of responsive tricks using the K2. So this would be a great yo-yo to learn just how to throw, how to catch, and everything on. Um, but you will be able to learn your basic string tricks on it as well, um, as well as some more advanced responsive tricks, like your stop and goes and stuff. But obviously great to just, you know, learn your basics, you know, maybe even a couple, couple string tricks and all that good stuff, or if you just like responsive play, you know, it'd be great to start on this. And then this one here, I have already set up, set in the same color. All right guys, now with the large bearing, I can do slack, whip tricks and stuff, and the yo-yo will not bind up on me. I can pop it up, whip it out of the air, and I don't have to worry about it coming back to my hand. So once you learn the basics, this would be a great, building block to move up to this and the fact that you get you know all the great value of having the case the two yo-yos two bearings for each yo-yo um, you can really broaden your horizons this is a great starting point point. Um, and then you can move up to the N11 which can also be responsive or unresponsive but the N11 being a metal yo-yo uh, will also carry its momentum a little more it's got a little wider gap uh, you might be able to get some longer combos out of that one. So let me go grab that Magic Yo-Yo N11 and give you guys a demonstration on that. All right, now the Magic Yo-Yo N11 has been a staple in Magic Yo-Yo's catalog for a very long time. One of their top selling yo-yos. Um, just because at this price point, it's an absolute fabulous yo-yo. A lot of times you can get these around the 10, 
$12 price point, you know, and at that price, it's really hard to get an unresponsive yo-yo uh, that's really much better than this. The spin times on this thing are really long um, with or without the little rubber O-rings. I like without because I feel the yo-yo is a little smoother without them. And me personally, I get long enough spin times without having them in there. Because I do very long combos, the yo-yo still comes to my hand um, really good. And I'll say it again, this is a great value getting all these you know, for just a little over $20, um, great, great value. It's hard to get one yo-yo nowadays that's good for $20. Here you're getting two with a case, multiple bearings, 12 strings. You know, it's really, really great value. So thank you guys for watching. That is the Magic Yo-Yo K2 N11 combo. You can pick it up on Amazon.com. And... I would. I'm glad I did. I'll see you guys later.